Oleg Raftala. As you can see, we're here at the uh, rally today. A march against Pegida. Pegida are marching against Islam. We're here today to say and launch the IERA project against racism, against hatred. The reason we've come out today is to launch this, this, this campaign which is against racism, against hatred. Which is all about the Muslims standing up and saying, this is what uh, Islam says about the issues of racism and about hatred. We all smile in the same language. We all cry in the same language. We bleed in the same color. And don't think these people, don't think these people have hatred. In reality, they're cowards. Are we going to stand against this? Yeah. Are we going to allow Europe to repeat that shameful chapter of history again? No. no. We've launched a national and regional campaign against racism and against hatred against Islamophobia. So I'd like to get your take. What do you think about that campaign? And do you think it work in Newcastle? I'm sure it would. You sure it works? Especially Newcastle because uh, we are a very tolerant city and we embrace all faiths. We are um, a city of sanctuary and we look at our mother, Muslim brothers and sisters. Fantastic, beautiful. In the Holy Quran it says that, uh, that God has created us in different nations and different groups so that we may get to know one another. Also, our Prophet Muhammad, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, he said that there's no superiority of a black man over a white man and no superiority of a white man over a black man. You will not be asked about your culture in your grave. And you will not be judged based on your father's last name. When the trumpet blares, there will be no more kings, only slaves. And your family traditions will not be able to keep you safe. Your language will bring you no comfort on that day and no one will care about the kind of food your mother used to make the angel of death does not discriminate no matter your ethnic group clan or race we were created from the exact same clay many nations have come before many nations have been replaced disgraced and erased so which one of you feels safe and which one of you remembers what life was like back in the day when we used to be brothers assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, we just been outside um, trafalgar square as you can see um, had some fantastic conversations so far i uh, just spoke to a gentleman from brighton um, and his wife had an amazing conversation. He actually uh, lived in the Middle East for several years, um, and really amazing to hear his perception of Muslims. When we talked about, you know, what were some of the words that he would associate with Islam and Muslims, he said quite, um, quite compellingly, uh, hospitable, welcoming, friendly. Um, so it just goes to show that obviously people do have a different perception of Islam. We both agree with um, positive experiences and positive communication between Muslims and other cultures. And um, we think this is a great thing that you're doing. I think these guys are doing a great job because uh, they encompass everybody. And like I said, in New York, you hear about England, especially in France, big time racism. So I think what they're doing is pretty good. So our message is to come out today and say, this is what Islam teaches. Islam teaches this idea that there is no, uh, there is no notion of racism in Islam. And this idea there's no hatred in Islam. We're here to bring tolerance, to bring peace, and to positively benefit a society and community.